Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Get that bell notification on so you don't miss out on the next episode of Brockton County, an Ontario themed city. And make sure to hit the like button. The like button helps the channel a lot. Uh, got a lot planned in today's episode. We are going to continue building our subway system from last episode, our metro uh, system. And uh, I think it's going to take us pretty much the whole episode today because there's two particular areas I want to build. I want to build a tram service station, even though it's not necessary in the game. I think it'll be really cool to have into the city. And then I also want uh, to revitalize a transit hub and turn it into something uh, grander than it is. And it looks like we have a bit of a backup on this green line here. Perhaps that's something we can revisit in today's episode as well. Uh, and uh, we're gonna actually start off today's episode with a bit of a fix. It's uh, something that I missed uh, in an earlier episode this week. And I just uh, deleted it and I forgot to fix it. And that is a pedestrian bridge in our industrial area. So we're gonna start off with that. Uh, and then in tomorrow's episode, you know, we'll see where the episode takes us today because that might uh, kind of push us to do something uh, completely different or along the same lines as today's episode. So without further ado, everyone, let's hop into it. So if you recall, I forget what episode it was. It might've been Tuesday's episode. I deleted a bridge right here, which connected in. I think I connected right here. Perhaps we can get it to connect over here. Um, and I actually put an, an industrial building there and then I realized later on that I forgot to reconnect it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna reconnect this bridge. Pretty simply enough, I just wanted to do this on camera because I made the mistake on camera. So let's fix it on camera. All right, so uh, first things first, we're just going to bring it right across the tram line or the train line that's good whoa what's happening there we go uh and then i think what we'll do is we'll bring it let's turn our guidelines off because it's going to allow us to be a bit more precise let's bring it there and then let's click home and connect it in right here i think this is going to be a bit different than what we had it previously but uh overall i think it's going to do uh, good things for the city Let's connect it right up like that. Bring it down a little bit. Ah, that might be too low. Okay, yeah, that should work. And then let's just tweak this ever so slightly so that it uh, looks a bit nicer. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty good. And someone's already using it. Perfect. Let's see if we can move this one over. And then if we move this one go there we go now we have a nice curve and then it goes down so let's actually take this node and let's just lower it a touch and look at that so many people are already using a using this uh, we could also get a connection over here as well whoa but uh, let's try to do that let's uh, bring it down a few notches and then we'll bring it right in like that you know, they, there's not actually stairs in this game, but perhaps we can say that these are stairs. Whoa, sorry, the camera keeps hopping over this building, and that's what's doing that. Uh, yeah, okay, let's, uh, let's bring it in like this. Uh, this building um, has garage doors right there. Well, I think a truck would have some difficulty getting in here in the first place, but <laughs> let's try to make it seem a bit more realistic by just scooching it over ever so slightly. So let's just pave all this in. All right. So uh, now pedestrians, oh, look at that. Someone's already using it, have much better access to this pedestrian crossing, which connects up to the tram line as well, uh, which is really, really important for the flow of Batherston Park. And if you notice that this has a name now, it does. It's not gonna stay this way, but uh, I just wanted to kind of plan out this district. Perhaps we'll touch on it today if we have time. I also extended Tower Gardens this way, uh, just because I'm thinking of getting some taller buildings in this area, and then we'll start lowering down uh, to medium density and low density. And then I also made this a district as well. Um, all right, so uh, let's start off with this. This is the uh, the subway end station, service station that we 
uh, started to plan out last episode. So if we take a peek at the subway lines, which is what we did uh, last episode, if uh, if uh, you can tell, it's this green line here. I wonder if I can just make it a bit easier if I just do this. There we go. So this one swings out and then it goes over to the airport. And then we have one that connects north. It's gonna connect to our harbor. And it's gonna go right north. And it's gonna, going to flow, whoop, just like this into Thornton Square. Uh, so we might swing it out over here first. I haven't decided. It might be beneficial just to get another subway stop over here. And then we just curve in. Instead of kind of tearing up the old town. Uh, yeah, anyways, uh, that's for later on in the episode. Uh, so we need to get a service station in here. And we're just going... It's not actually going to be functioning. There is a mod that you can do get that kind of makes this po possible. And it gives you some assets with it too. But I'm going to try to play with some vanilla assets only using Move It as a way of doing this. Uh, so, in order for some added realism, there would need to be a place where tram or trains from the north-south line can get onto this east-west line, right? So that's what I think we should start off with doing. Just drawing in some fake lines. So let's go into tunnel mode. Okay, let's turn anarchy on off. Oh, I didn't go into tunnel. There we go. And I always turn anarchy off because you never know if you're doing a mistake. And if you do a mistake, then you're really screwed. <laughs> now let's turn this off. Get yeah, rid right of it there. And we'll swing. Let's uh, do this. This is all for. This is not uh, like. Uh, real at all. These are just service lines. Uh, they're just for, purely for the look. Okay, let's do this and then swing out. Holy cow. Come on. I guess this is why you do anarchy, right? So let's put anarchy on then just for this part. What the heck is happening? Look, there we go. Holy cow. Okay, so theoretically, now trams can go underneath you. Now, theoretically, <laughs> subways can uh, be serviced on these two uh, lines, and they can change uh, change areas too, or change lines. Uh, so hopefully that uh, doesn't mess anything up. I think I left enough space between the stations for that to happen. And I guess the city would be thinking about getting a stop right here, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, th I think we'll just leave it at that. So uh, the subway comes over here, it stops, and then it comes above ground where maybe we can get a couple roads over top of this. So why don't we just try to look at doing that really quickly. There we go. Uh, to see kind of what this could look like if we get some roads going over top of this. So let's grab this one. We're just gonna do that. Oh, that is not the right road. <laughs> and then we'll get uh, this one going right over top. So we'll take it right to there. We'll go elevated. There we go. And then we'll go back to ground level. Perfect. Okay, I'm just going to scooch this one over ever so slightly. Yeah, so now these subways can go underneath these roads. We can kind of keep our, our, our grid. ground level perfect yeah you know I think it works pretty great pretty great all right so I've been teasing this enough so the subways come up here and then they emerge and I think I'm gonna look at getting some factories out here or like uh, maybe a bit of industrial center over this way not sure about factory actually because that uh, the trams aren't the most conducent for that Yeah, I mean, this is a cargo line, is it not? It is. We follow this middle line. It connects onto this. This is cargo. It swings down here. Yeah, you know what? We might be able to get a cargo station. Yeah, okay. Maybe we can get some factories out here. So it's a bit more of like an industrial kind of vibe. 
Um, and anyways, let's just grab this. Oh, there we go. And I think I'll just draw in another one. And we'll look at getting maybe four of these. All right, so let's grab the first one. We'll make sure we grab all the nodes. And we're just gonna scooch it right over like that. Okay, and we're, then we're gonna do the same thing for this. Similarly to how we have kind of built our subway, or sorry, our, our cargo train uh, stations in the past. There we go. Now, it doesn't really matter about how this connects. Because, well, I mean, as long as it doesn't do that. <laughs> uh, okay, holy cow. Uh, because it's non-functioning, right? So uh, let's bring it out to about here. Turn node snapping on. Here we go. Okay, so we just need to do some manipulation of the nodes to get this to kind of look a bit right. But uh, yeah, this way, all these lines can be accessed. Yeah, nice, and this is all above ground. Um, okay, that's great. And then, I hope this still works. And how, I hope this does, still is going to work the same way that uh, I'm looking for it to work. But if we use these underground shelters, what we need is we need a road, though. That's the thing. So I'm not sure if we can get a road to connect to these. Yeah, okay. So let's just delete that. Let's then grab a road and place it right here. Yeah, okay, let's just uh, extend it out a bit farther. Let's make sure the nodes are beyond that, okay? This is non-functioning, remember that, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, and then let's just grab this. Let's turn snapping back on and guidelines, I guess, because I would like to make sure this road stays straight to what we're doing. All right, and then we're gonna go into the National Disasters DLC and get the Large Emergency Shelter. And what this can do is it kind of looks like a service station, doesn't it? So unfortunately, we need to connect to it, but it looks like it already is. Let's actually just build another one and see how we go about connecting it. Oh yeah, it just connects like that. Uh, so it's just having some difficulty because of these subways here. So let's just uh, hold control and back it up. Ah, yeah, okay, this is just, I just messed it up, that's fine. Um, so let's just grab these, we'll bring it back to about here. And I just want them off the road because I would love to just connect this one. Right there, okay, perfect. Now, this is going to be the tricky part. Finding out how many we could get. I think we can get two here and make it look right. Hmm. Maybe if we get a few more. Let's go with this one right here. We'll line this one up like that, and then we'll get like a, a just a secondary uh, service station. Okay, so we'll throw this one right there. All right, let's get these guys water, just so I don't forget. It's not really important, I guess, in the grand scheme of things, but yeah, okay. And then let's grab, move it here, and grab this one, and this is the cool thing. We're just gonna stick this right over top of the road and into about the middle here. We're gonna do the same thing with this one, okay. Then we'll bring these ones right to the end. As you see, the, oh, never mind. I thought the, the, uh, the fences kind of just ended there, but it looks like it's not. All right, so I guess we can get rid of this. Yep, 
Yeah, so we got some outside service. Lines. Maybe these are the ones that kind of just wait. And then we have ones that go into this emergency shelter, but you know, you can imagine a train going into it and getting serviced. And uh, yeah, it kind of looks like a, a bit of a hub. And then if we can also, I was thinking about this, we might be able to turn this one into a tram line, this whole road. And then we could get a tram terminal out this way. And it would also kind of look similar to what we're trying to, to approach. And it might just give us enough kind of uh, similar view to what we're doing. So let's just try to get a couple of these in here. Uh, and let's see if we can kind of get a cool look from it. So I wonder if we can just delete that. Will that complain now about not having road access? It doesn't look like it. Okay, good. All right, so let's grab all these. Let's bring them in. And maybe this is how we'll say they'll be able to kind of access it. Now, unfortunately, this symbol is going to be showing the entire time. And I was hoping that maybe we could get it to blend a bit better into the road. I guess if we could carry it somehow, the tram track into here, or the subway track. Okay, let's grab them all again. So if we were to turn it this way, bring it onto this side, we might be able to get it to work. Oh. But we have to kind of live with the fact that it might not look exactly right. And maybe this is where some of the cars are stored. So what we'll do is we'll get a tram uh, road. And where are they? Trams, there they are. And I mean, now that it's on this side, there's no way it's ever gonna be actually used. Okay. I don't know what I was thinking. Let's just bring it over here. Maybe if we can get this to kind of work together in a sort of way. We'll get the fence to kind of connect up to this. Yeah, okay, I can see this working. And then if we manage to, let, well, first of all, let, let's just see, let's just see. Let's, let's grab a road, just whatever one, this one. I'm just gonna draw it out so that symbol goes away. And then now I wonder if we can uh, get the subway line here. And then if we just connect it up like this, Okay, and then if we just drag it over, yeah, that darn fence is kind of in the way. But does that look like maybe the subway tracks can go into it? I mean, there's a fence in the way, unfortunately. I wonder if the just delete it. Simple rail line will kind of do that for us instead. Remember, this is just all for kind of look. Now, I'm not sure. Whoa. I'm not sure if this is going to connect up well with our subway lines, though. Yeah, see, this is kind of looking a bit better because I can change the way this looks at the end here with the gravel. And now it kind of looks like these train, these train tracks kind of converge into it. And we can use some imagination for that, right? And then what we'll do is we'll just get a service road to come out to here. I wonder if I can get a one unit road. Let's turn node snapping off, all guidelines. I just would really, oh, would really love to be able to squeeze in a road like this. Yeah. I 
Okay, now the moment of truth. Will the subway line actually connect up with this train line? Hmm. Hoping it would. Oh, yeah, there we go. Kind of, yeah. So, if we can just get use move it here to kind of suspend a bit of disbelief with it. Yeah, and then it goes into a service road area here. This is where it goes into underground storage, and then this is where the maybe the engines go or something like that. So, what we'll do is we'll then use the train tracks. As a bit of a marker here, so I'm going to use uh, just the grid. Oh no, it's not grid. No deadlines. There we go. Okay, and we're just going to grab these nodes. Just do that, and this one, and then we'll just drag these right over to the end and these will be where backup cars kind of sit okay I'm gonna grab these nodes I'm gonna copy it fantastic okay and then now we just got to connect them up so we'll connect it up into that This one down. Oh, little auto save there. Okay, now it's just a matter of uh, lining these up. Okay, so something is amiss with this node here. Oh, there we go. So it's gonna look a bit weird, but I think if we manage to kind of just get it right because of these things, unfortunately. Whoa. Okay, we won't be able to do that though. But uh, I wonder if maybe just manipulating these rail lines will work. A lot of trial and error here. I've never actually done uh, one of these this big before. Usually when I do this, just kind of one. But I wanted to go over the top for today's episode. Alright, so we'll swing this one down. Looks a bit messy, doesn't it? It doesn't actually look anymore like this is actually a rail. Why don't I just delete this? And then this one. There we go. So those actually look like they kind of work, and now we just gotta get these ones to connect in nicer. Okay, so just lots of move it, you know. I said that this was a cool way of doing this, but with only one mod, and this is the mod, so we're using it. All right. So unfortunately, I mean, we're never really gonna come back and see this. This is really just for the luck of this one episode for this one episode all right and then if we can just get this to kind of work properly I'm thinking now if we go with the train line instead of the subway line it might work but it doesn't I mean obviously no matter what we do it seems that there's gonna be these uh, Um, these like blocks here so I think we just kind of kind of you know bite the bullet on one of these and I think we'll just kind of shift this back over just hold uh, alt snap it back and then we'll grab this right there okay come on I wish I could grab them both, but it 
doesn't seem like it wants to be too. Anyways, okay, we'll just uh, leave with that. I'll play with it a bit more in the future. But uh, we have a really cool looking uh, yard here. And we spent most of today's episode doing stuff that doesn't matter. So let's actually go do something that does matter. So let's actually just bring pavement into this part. Bring pavement right down to here. Okay, yeah, very cool. We got like a cool uh, subway yard and we'll have to figure out a way to connect it all up uh, with everything else in the future, but that is what we got right now going. That's pretty cool. It's a really big service yard. And from a distance, you can kind of tell, like, oh, that's not a train yard. That's something a bit different, right? So we'll leave that for now and let's go, because it's not actually part of the subway system. <laughs> and let's go actually build something that's part of the subway system. So uh, if we hop out into here and we look at our subway lines, we have these connections. They come over here, they get serviced. And then uh, we swing over here, up north. And then let's, oh, we got some backup over here. Hasn't been back up here in a while. Hmm. Perhaps we'll have to look at that in a future episode. It's this intersection right here. Uh, but we have two options here. We have an option to swing just north and then connect into Thornton Square. Or we have a, connection, uh, uh, a possibility to swing over here and then go. So I think if we go over this way, we're going to interrupt a lot of trans that we have. So I say we go north one more, curve in. So yeah, let's uh, let's do that. So I think it'll be this intersection. So I think we have the possibility of using one of the new stations then. And we were looking yesterday at using this one, but we never managed to actually get it to work. So I wonder if we can get this one to work today. Yeah, why not? I mean, kind of have an open space here so we can totally work around it now, right? And we have a bike lane running through here, so really easy for people who bike to... I'm sure it has like rigorous bike uh, um, bike racks. <laughs> a ton of them. Alright, connect up that. I'll bring water down here. Connect up, okay. So, now we got that here, so let's connect that up. Tunnel. Perfect. Then we're gonna just do a slight curve in Thornton Square where it'll meet up with many trams and many uh, commuters. I mean, look at that. That's great. Should definitely do some revisions of these tram lines. All right, so we are actually going to eliminate the park of Thornton Square. So we're gonna take it out. Take it out. No more park. Oh, that was not a park. That was part of back in Hampton. This is the park. There we go. Take it out. No park. No park. And we'll delete this. No park. Okay, so I'm going to wait for all these people to kind of cross. Sorry, old man. <laughs> and we're just going to completely read do this park and that's where we're gonna end today's episode after this so let's just delete everything and we're gonna change change it up change the game completely all right let's take out everything trees where there's two trees underneath each other <laughs> so we also got a hockey arena over here we got a baseball stadium so it's a very very uh, busy area got two trams that intersect here so if you missed the episodes where we built this whole area up in the first place this is an asset from the workshop it's a two lane one uh, way tram line so we have two tram lines intersecting here the red one and the green one uh, pretty much what happens is the green one goes into Riverside and back the red one goes all the way through these suburbs and connects up over here so it's a big huge train line um, and because of that, there's tons of people using it. So the idea is that we get the red one to stop over here, I think. Oh yeah, so we have two stops. So the, the red one will stop on the outside here, and then we'll go onto the inside so that it goes into the left lane and over. And the green one will come from this way, go into the left lane here, 
drop people off, hop over, go into the, the right lane, collect people, and go. So it's kind of like a, like a two-stop system, and it, it works pretty good. Um, the only thing is that right here, there's a bit of disbelief where the fact that there's only one tra train line, and that's fine, I mean, because perhaps they're limited, and I just couldn't find an asset that particularly worked for this, um, so that's why we're leaving it. But if we're gonna get a subway stop in here, there is plenty that we can do. So this is the other end station. It's a bypass station, but since it is the end station, perhaps maybe extra cars kind of line up here, right? And this is a perfect spot for it. It lines up very evenly. We can line it up here, or we can put it on this side here. I'm thinking this side because it's the main street. It's gonna be a bit easier. And this is the same uh, station that we have all the way over here as the end station. So we're joking that uh, Brockton County got one architect to do this entire metro system. And he uh, he forgot that he had to do two lines. So they had to double it up. <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, so perhaps since this is a bypass station, so there's this these there's four of them. One, two, three, four. Perhaps what we can say is that uh, cars will kind of just stop in here and wait and then people will be able to walk over into the middle i don't know uh but i i like this the station look it, especially as an end station it's not going to really matter um but perhaps one day we can connect this subway line out into riverside west or something or maybe we can bring it down a little bit i don't know but uh, or it can just be the end and we won't have to continue it at all but uh, I think we have a, a really good realistic metro system for what this would be. Then we're going to get one more down here when we build our uh, harbor area, which is coming. So, you know, you just run out of time in the week. It's, uh, it's very interesting. All right, so let's uh, do that. And we're going to go into freeform here. And actually, let's just go into the normal curve. Bending on. Uh, let's try to line it up just by eye. There we go. All right, so let's grab the station. And I mean, it's not that far, really. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's that's really really close. But I, anyways, that's fine. I think for each neighborhood, it kind of works. All right, so now we need to get uh, people from the trams into here. And technically, they'll just be able to, maybe some of these people are just gonna walk right there, but let's make it seem a bit more realistic. So let's grab our zoo path because, I mean, it's the best path in the game. Okay, let's get out of this view. Oh, I was in tunnel, there we go. All right, home. There we go, holy cow, took long enough. Uh, and let's bring it up to here, and then over to there. Okay, let's turn grid on. Should have done this in the first place. kind of doubling up on some some of these trees but uh, we're not exactly respecting the asset as much as I would normally like to but uh, I think we'll be fine okay so we got a couple extra nodes here let's swing this one to the middle scoops that over and this one and then this one yeah really I really messed that one up didn't I okay there we go got these two and bring this right up against this pavement and 
let's just bring it down ever so slightly. Yeah, that works. Okay, and then we'll get a connection right there and right here. And then we'll connect right up. Holy cow. Let's turn all these guidelines off. Let's just do this by, by hand. Uh, just like that. And then just like that. Very simple, but you know, sometimes it's the simplicity that makes it work, right? I mean, if you're at Thornton Square and you're like, oh, I gotta get all the way to the subway. I mean, it's pretty obvious where to go. Um, I really like the idea that was suggested in the comments to do this, to kind of change up what Thornton Square became. Um, and, you know, make it what it is right now. I, I really think this is gonna work out great. All right, and then one more right here. Just take a brief moment to readjust. All right, so I could fence it. That could look nice. Maybe we can get a bit of fencing. Maybe let's try the orange tree fence. That's pretty nice. Oh, never mind. I thought that was wood. Yeah, no. Maybe it's the forestry fence that I'm like, thinking about. Yeah, I mean, that's a better fence. Okay, we'll get this one right along the middle, part two. Huh, we have the forestry fence over here. Yeah, and then we won't put them in the corners. Hmm, should I put them over here? Yeah, why not? Yeah, there we go. And then we'll leave this kind of open. Uh, we could add some cool rock features. Oh, those are way too big. Uh, we could go for some just simple trees. We could also look at adding in some cool props to kind of brighten up the space. There's definitely not enough. Oh. Oh, do I want to make one of these? Uh... Ah, we do that quite often, but it would be really cool to make one of these like a bit of a market. Wow, this is busy. There's parking over here, so there's no worries. Hmm, I'm, I'm tempted to do more to, more to this area, but I think the simplicity of it really makes it look good. Oh, someone almost drove right over top. What the heck are you doing? Park maintenance vehicle. You gonna, you gonna go? Or are you just gonna stay stuck? Because there used to be a park here. He was really confused. He's got his kayak, and it's like, well, it's just over at uh, the at the lake. But uh, there's a subway here now, <laughs> and not the food kind. Okay, so let's uh, let's just look at maybe getting in. Uh, ooh, maybe just some picnic tables. You know, keep it simple, simple and sweet. So let's go into the the park asset. Oh, yeah, a gazebo maybe. Oh, you know what? Maybe just like some simple. Like a simple restroom over here or something like that. Uh, let's grab the building. Just scooch it over. Oh, really? You're gonna do that to me? Hmm. I mean, there's probably a washroom in there. Yeah, okay, let's just uh, maybe add a gazebo or two. Oh my gosh, they don't. I thought I had the mod that allows you to do that. Anyways, I'll look into it. Let's uh, let's not waste any more time. So we got that done. That looks, that looks awesome. Just drop my pencil. It's dark out in, in my room and I can't see my notepad. Yeah, okay, we, we did everything we needed to do today. And uh, I think it turns out great. Like, look at that. That is so many people using this park. We could totally use turn this into a park, but you can't connect uh, 
uh, park gates to these paths. So, holy cow, look at how many, how many people are using this. All right, so let's end off the episode by uh, revising some of these lines. So this is the north-south line. This is the line we're just, we just added things onto. We got tons of stops throughout here. That's actually a lot of stops. Yeah, we're good with these three. Let's see if everything's gonna be good here. It should be, yeah. Okay, so things are flowing good. Let's go back over to the east-west line now. Three cars, we could probably go down to two. Let's take it down to about there. There we go. All right, sweet. Now we're gonna look at the trams because if we go back to Thornton Square, which I'm gonna be calling this this Thornton Square. Holy cow, look how many people are using this. Are they all going into the subway? I mean, they're kind of splitting up. But it looks like people are just changing lines. Okay, well, uh, let's just revise these two then. So let's go into trams. We're gonna start with the Queen Street line. 500 passengers. Oh, tons of people waiting there, but... Oh, wrong one. So where's Thornton Square then? So I guess everyone's being... Everyone's good. It's a bit of backup, so why don't I add two more. We got 19 on the Queen Street line, and then let's look at the Riverside line. Which is 10 trams, and there is a lot of people waiting here. And a lot of people up here too. So, okay, so we need to bump this up. Let's see. That's one. That's two. That's three. Yeah, okay. We bumped it up by five. Eight, 14. Alright, let's go to the university line now. 12 trams on it. Okay, so there's definitely one at least. Let's go up to 14. Just to be safe, downtown line. This is the line that runs along Ontario Street and runs right past the uh, train station. And we seem good. This is gonna be good. Yeah, okay, we're good here. 10. Electric Avenue, let's see. Whoa, lots of people using it. Holy moly. 14, and we have so, this many people using this tram line. Okay, so let's try to count this. All right, half. I'm just really, really being rough here. Uh, okay, so let's go two total now. Three, okay, let's add three to this. 17, all right. Perfect, okay, so uh, that's pretty good, guys. We uh, did well, we did very well. Let's find that issue. I think it's this one. Yeah, there we go. Then we just gotta hook these up. So I think we'll do that in a future episode, but this has some crime happening. It's got some lots of lots of craziness happening over here. I think we definitely need to look at fixing the way this looks. But you know, overall I I like how this turned out for you know, just when we're kind of looking at the city, you're like, oh, that's where the subway ends, kind of thing. Uh, it doesn't need to be perfect. I'll come back when I have some time, and I'll just kind of go off camera and um, touch it up. Uh, but I think it works uh, worked pretty well. Let's maybe let's add a fence through here. Let's go with... Uh, oil industry fence. Let's try to keep it straight. There we go. And we'll look at uh, fixing some of these things Whoa. as well once I kind of get an idea of how I want to connect it up. But I like how this is kind of maybe like the the old service station, and then we also have these new service stations in here now. 
Uh, let's see if there's anything else we could kind of add here really quickly uh, to this area. Like, we could add a taxi depot for sure, but it's not exactly the most important. Uh, any other cool assets we could kind of add in here? Ah, you know what might, might look nice? The uh, road maintenance depot. Yeah, if we get this to come along here, how it's four wide, okay. Uh, let's just grab a really quick road here. Guidelines. There we go. Swing it out to about there. Let me grab the road maintenance depot. Throw it right there. Yeah, this is gonna look great. That's like the office building for the the whole thing. Okay, and then we're gonna just swing this back a little bit. Yeah, we'll look at, uh, at you know clamming this up, but I think those are all the assets you need to do that. And you just need to move it, and you can create a cool. Uh, Metro service station. So let's go over to Thornton Square and we'll end off uh, today's episode. So I hope you had a lovely day, everyone, and I'll catch you next time. There we go. I'll catch you next time. Peace out.